Good morning, this is K0PIR, Rich and Pierre, South Dakota. And I've got uh, FL Digi running on my Raspberry Pi. I've made a few contacts with it. And uh, boy, it works really good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know that I'll uh, make it my uh, my main computer for uh, running digital modes. But uh, it is a lot of fun. And it's pretty neat to uh, load it on uh, this little computer and, and get it going. Uh, I can show you right here the uh, Raspberry Pi. And it's connected to a couple of cables. Uh, one is a CIV cable for my ICOM 7300. And uh, the other one is a, a USB cable. And uh, that goes to the USB port on the back of the radio. Um, I've been using it that way uh, even with my uh, Windows 10 computer. And it works really good. So uh, that's what I did. I set it up uh, the same way and uh, installed uh, FL Digi from uh, a package. I, uh, I did uh, compile one and it worked for a little while and then I ran into some trouble. So uh, I reinstalled everything and uh, updated the OS and then just installed FL Digi from the package. And uh, it, uh, it does work, uh, works pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, let me go ahead and close this. From uh, the desktop, just go over to uh, the little Raspberry. Go down to Preferences, Add and Remove Software Programs. And uh, then just type in uh, FL Digi. Do a search. And it'll be, bring up the packages and uh, some of them that uh, uh, I don't actually need. Well, this time it just brought up uh, what I need. So uh, I did uh, the FL Digi program, FL Rig, and FL uh, Wrap. I uh, installed those. Just click on them and then hit the OK button. It'll ask you for the password and uh, then install the packages. Uh, once you get it set up, It'll put it over here underneath the internet. And uh, you can go down and start it. You'll have to do a little setup uh, to begin with. And uh, go under configure and uh, the rig control. Uh, I'm using a uh, rig cat and I've used this before. It works, uh, works well on my other computer. Downloaded the IC7300 uh, XML file. Uh, put it on here and my device it found the device uh, uh, it found uh, the one that I needed and I was pretty happy about that because normally it's uh, it's pain but it found the prolific uh, technology uh, USB serial controller and uh, that's the one I selected for uh, rig control and then over under audio um, I'm using the, the port audio and it brought up the, uh, the audio codec for uh, uh, my IC7300. So I was pretty happy about that. Uh, once uh, I got those uh, set up, um, I'm able to uh, go ahead and test it. And I'm going to put it on the dummy load here. Hit tune and uh, it keys up. Pretty happy about that, and of course it decodes uh, decodes really well. Uh, you know, I, I haven't had any any hesitation, any lags, uh, anything like that uh, using it, and uh, that, that's pretty amazing for that uh, small computer. Uh, it doesn't have much memory, and it's running off of a, a SD card basically. So, uh, pretty happy about that. Uh, let's see what else I can tell you. Oh, I had to set up the uh, the transmit. Uh, I wanted to make sure that my ALC wasn't moving, and I have my uh, my rig set up to uh, put out 50 watts. It's on uh, USB digital, and uh, set up to put out 50 watts. And then I, I came over to this speaker icon, right clicked it, made sure I was uh, set with the USB audio codec, and uh, I can. 
Uh, let, me, let me see what happens if I go in there. Uh, got the wrong one. Uh, external device settings. And uh, this is uh, the default now. And here are the controls for it. I had, they were set uh, uh, to 100%. I had to back them off a little bit. So my ALC, uh, the ALC didn't uh, go up too high. And actually it's just, it's, you can't even see it uh, when I key the rig. I made a few contacts and uh, ALC was uh, pretty much non-existent. And I was still putting out 40 watts. So, uh, uh, you know, that's a that's a good thing. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's what it looks like. Let's see if I can uh, decode a little here. Oh, there's somebody calling CQ. Uh, I'm gonna go down to uh, see if I can call him. Didn't uh, didn't transmit. Uh, didn't key up. I'm gonna pause it and uh, fix that and come right back to it. Okay, yeah. When I went in there to uh, uh, show you some things, I messed something up. So let me see if I can call this guy uh, and we can make a contact. I'm hitting my little macro button there. Let's see if he's still there. Boy, I got on here and I, I uh, answered a guy's CQ, and uh, then it was tough getting off. Oh, there he is. He's still there. Good deal. Oh, no, this is another one. Let me, uh answer his call to VE3 station bad thing about macros is you put uh, something in there it really doesn't apply to the conversation you're having and I can't reach around this uh, camera to get to the keyboard so I'm just going to use the macros Okay, sometimes it takes a little while for him to come back. Put his name up here. Bob. He's in a... I clicked on that and it uh, jumped right in there, so... I'm gonna hit uh, hit this. And now uh, this is a little file that I set up. Uh, List the uh, IC 7300, putting out about 40 watts into a TH2 MK3, and uh, my Raspberry Pi. Uh, three with FL Digi 3.22. It's not uh, the latest one, but uh, it took a long time to compile the latest one, and uh, I might go back later and do that again. But uh, I think most people just want to install it from a package, and uh, just to know that it works. And boy, I really like the uh, ICOM 7300. 
I don't have to use a, a signal link that I used before and uh, just the cables go through the radio that's uh, that's pretty neat I, I like that part about it set up let me go back uh, he's in Ontario okay uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send him a 73 don't want to make this video too long uh, Type something in here real quick. And like I said, this thing doesn't lag. Uh, you know, I haven't had any trouble with it. Uh, slowing down, getting stuck. Uh, boy, it's, it's pretty slick. I think we got a couple of signals right on top of each other, unfortunately. Yeah, he was right next to me. It might have wiped him out. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and log him uh, in the log book. Yeah, somebody came in on top of us. Oh, well, that's too bad. Uh, I wanted to finish the QSO with him. But anyway, I'll send him a little note. So that's it, the uh, ICOM 7300 Raspberry Pi, the latest uh, uh, version of it, the Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, FL Digi uh, running on it. So I uh, hope this uh, you find this informative. Thanks for watching. Remember to please uh, like, subscribe, and share this video if you can. 73 and good DX.